How is everybody doing today? And in this video, we are going to be making quite possibly Akron's most busted team. And it deals with almost no supports. And when I mean almost no supports, it's because one of them so happens to be a support, but they do a fat ton of damage on their own. And today we're going to be bringing the Dot team with Akron. And this honestly brings out a lot of what Akron can do, specifically with her traces, because not only do we have the two Nihility characters coming out and buffing her damage out, we have a fat ton of debuffs coming from both Kafka and Black Swan. And it's going to be a fat ton of damage. And why not do even more with this and bring out Ruan May to help with the shield breaking, to help with the damage for the dots, help with the damage from Acheron. This is going to be a team that's quite literally going to just destroy everything that it's in going for when it comes to all the content that's in the game. And I don't think anything can survive this. I think this is the strongest team in terms of damage that you're doing team wide that you can do. And it's crazy that these characters who are only supposed to be doing damage, which are Kafka and um, Black Swan, they're absolutely doing so much damage. Akron is always basically insane. Like I can't, you gotta go into it and start showcasing it. But before we get into the showcase, make sure you have a like and a sub and all that type of stuff on the video if you are excited for Akron, which we do have E1 active. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. We do have E1 active. I don't know if I can show it right now. I cannot, but the E1 only gives crit rate. That's the only one I uh, unlocked. And for E2, I'm gonna have to wait till we're finished with all the showcases so that we can give an accurate way of how the character functions so let's go ahead and throw in the ruan may and black swan technique and then go in with kafka and not akron because the reason i'm doing this is so that everyone can immediately get all of the debuffs with the dots and all that as soon as the round starts and this is actually going to help us d kill the pig automatically which gives us a lot to deal with with kafka because she's going to be able to re-trigger a lot of that dot over and 61k off rip and we're already at nine stacks that's insane <laughs> <laughs> we're already at nine stacks for Akron. So now we're just going to go ahead and do a normal. Bring the ultimate out. And something that's really cool with Kafka is that since she's able to attack off her turn, she can give shock. Okay, I'm just making sure I have everything ready. But she can give shock on her follow-up attack. And that counts for an extra stack that you're going to be giving Akron. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do when it comes to all that with this team this team just does so much damage team wide and i can't wait to show you what the supported version of this team is where it comes into akron with pella and silver wolf and ruame there's just so many cool teams you can make with this character just because of all the fun aspects of the path system that they're trying to push into these characters that akron has so we're gonna go ahead and throw this skill on her and then now let's do akron oh how much damage is gonna do and a big tip for a lot of you that don't know if you put your Crimson Knots all on one character, you get the most amount of damage from that because now it's not spread out between the adjacent targets and all that. You want to just go ahead and erase the person that you're trying to hit and get them to the max stacks as possible. Try to single out them with only them being at 9 stacks. So that's 1, 83. Hopefully I don't miss crits. I saw miss crit. 285, 299. Boom. 447. Isn't the craziest, but we have a lot of turns left over because of how much damage the team is going to be doing. It's really honestly not going to be that bad. We're going to go ahead and do that skill. We're going to do a ult with Kafka. This should hurt for a lot, especially with all the dots on him. And well, y'all saw that. <laughs> y'all saw that. We had like four turns left for everybody else. So that dude was going to be gone anyway. And the dots went ahead and just ended him. So holy was that a lot. So let's go ahead and use the skill on Yan Ching. This guy on the left is still alive somehow. We're going to base him and hopefully he gets a knocked out. Oh, okay. We do actually get the knockout from him. Nice. We're going to wait till he's going to bring out the sword so that we can hit with Black Swan's ult. That way we can crack some of them and stop them from hitting us. Because I don't want to do all that damage because, of course, we have no sustain on this team. But this should be an easy, easy zero cycle, like, without a doubt. <laughs> we're going to throw the skill on back for the defense reduce. And then we're not going to use her skill yet because she already has two overcap stacks. So we're going to go ahead and pop her ultimate right now. And this honestly just, this, this just flew by, honestly. <laughs> this is just a little too fast. And how much damage we're doing. We got 779 with no supports besides Black Swan. Holy, this, this is absolutely disgusting on what this team can do. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to use the skill with Kafka, but I can use the ult to trigger everything that I need. And he should be possibly KO'd just by that alone. Yeah. The Dot team is busted with that. <laughs> Holy crap. And just because I think the showcase is a little, little too short, 
We're going to go ahead and bully Japar really quickly to see how this team works against him, which I think that Japar is going to have a much harder time dealing with these characters than Yan Ching did. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be a little overkill for them. But let's go ahead and see how it looks. I, I haven't tried it on an LLC with this team for Akron, so we're going to have to wait and see how this looks. So we're going to go ahead and do a skill. Sadly, we got to do it on this guy on the right because he does have the Crimson Knots, which they have it very small. I wish I could see that a little bit more than what they have it at. That was a lot. Oh my god. Rua Maze weakness break or toughness uh, efficiency. Oh my god. It, that is way too nasty for a dot team to have. So let's go ahead and do a basic. We're going to hit the guy. It, we're going to hit him because the Kafka follow-up tag. I forgot about that. So let's go ahead and throw up that ultimate. Now, whenever someone gets hit with Rua Maze ultimate, they also get counted as a debuff. So we must remember that. We have no extra stacks on our bar, so we are going to keep on stacking it out. Boom. That's one. That's going to lower everyone's defense. Then we're going to use the skill to get everyone in terms of the damage across the board and get the final three stacks to overcap on our ultimate. So we're going to use the skill on Akron. 131k skill with no supports, no Pella, no Silver Wolf. The guys that have immense defense reduced. And we're doing it with Black Swan and Kafka. Dear Lord, is that disgusting. 304? Wait, we might have a million. <laughs> oh, it's possible. Ah, <laughs> we almost did. We were so close to a million. I think he might die from Dot. Oh my God, he took a massive chunk from Dot. And of course he, of course. <laughs> I wouldn't expect it any other way in all honesty. We're going to do a skill on him. We're just going to keep getting our skill points up because we're going to need it for the next part. And Kafka said, now nah, we're good. <laughs> Oh my god, this team does so much damage. It's actually insane. I really, really hope right now he doesn't hit Swan. I really, really hope. Okay, thank god. Oh my god, I got scared. I thought he was going to hit Swan. <laughs> oh my god. I did not want that to happen. That would have made me so upset right there. So now before Akron's turn goes, we're going to do Black Swan's ult so that we can get the defense reduced or the damage received. I forgot which one it is. We're going to do that. Then we're going to do Kafka's ult to go ahead and re-trigger and do a bat ton of damage. And now we have two stacks left over before we can get into our max. So we're going to use a skill on Japard, and then we're going to use our ult. And then this should do absolute mass. And then especially when it's time for uh, the guys to hit with their dots. Yeah, this should be a done deal as well. Boom. Oh, no, he hits one. <laughs> no, there's no way he hits one. There is no way. That is so unlucky. <laughs> oh no. And I don't have enough stacks to finish off the job. <laughs> that sucks. That actually sucks. I'm not going to lie. And he dies to die. Well, if I didn't get so unlucky and Swan didn't get hit, that would have actually been perfect. We would have got that zero cycle easy on both sides effortlessly. But no, I had to get not only stunned with Swan, it could have been Ruan May. We would have been 100% fine. But this team does absolute damage. I love this team so, so much. It's super, super fun. Um, the thing with my Akron, I have very low crit rate. And it's because my E1 does give me a fat ton. And I also have the 8% that comes from her set that we are using. And my Akron actually isn't in the best build at the current moment. She has speed boots right now because that's all I could get when I was grinding for her. And then also we are rocking lightning damage or on inner cell Soto because now we're not getting the full damage buff we would have gotten or the attack percent buff that we would have gotten from the new relic set that we have right now, which I got a godly quantum piece kinda. And I can't even use this for anyone right now, which sucks. I wish I could, but when it comes to the inner cell Soto, I'm only buffing my ultimate and that's pretty much it with the extra percent of crit rate. So hopefully we can get the new set down the line. Grinding with her in SU is super, super, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I love grinding SU now because now you can just go slash, 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 hit everyone, get your blessings, go to the elite, finish the job, and it's just an overall amazing experience. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video when it comes to Akron Showcase. I think she is an absolutely fun and amazing character, and specifically because they wanted to give us this once to tune ability buff. That is going to allow us to do some really cool sub DPS comps like the one we did today where they're supporting them without even actually doing it directly. They're giving her her trace, which gives her that 60% extra damage boost, which is a massive boost to have when all the other characters are just doing damage and absolutely wrecking havoc on every single other character that's in the um, 
cycles or in the moc stages so other than that that's going to be it for this video that is a super fun team to run i cannot wait to rock more teams let me know what y'all want to see in the comments below and also make sure to come by twitch.tv slash real because we are going to be doing some more showcases some grinding and also the story for pentaconia all that type of stuff so see y'all there on that thank you guys so much for watching see y'all the next one and peace